Hi Cancerians, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your Gypsy Tarot Love Spread for November 2017. So if I've got any time in the month, mid I'll do mid-month readings, but I've been really busy and stuff, so um, and I, I can't really separate the reading into singles and couples this month either so far. We'll see what we get mid-month. I'm preparing the live spreads for January 2017 for each of the signs and also the personal readings so been a really busy time for me to be perfectly honest with you so um, yeah we're just going to do sort of just a general overall overview for your love lives in um, November 2017 universe spirit what's coming in for love for Cancerians in the month of November 2017 in a 21 card gypsy tarot spread what's coming in for love for Cancerians show me Cancerians zodiac sign of cancer Summoning rising signs, Cancer, summoning rising signs, Cancer, summoning rising signs. Show them what's coming in for Cancer, summoning rising signs during the month. And this is just a love reading, please. So show me love for Cancer, summoning rising signs in the month of November 2017. Show me. Okay, so we're going to split the deck into three. Sorry if it's a little bit dark. Um, I haven't got my ring light on at the minute. Uh, so god that is freaking dark isn't it one two three i really should show change my settings you should be able to see the cards let's have a look yeah it's still quite dark though i have no idea why it's so dark oh that's interesting one two three four five six seven one two three or oh, god it's so dark four five six and seven okay just bear with me one moment i'm gonna get my ring light on here yeah sorry i had to just put on the the ring light because um <coughs> It was too dark to see anything. I didn't really want to continue doing the reading like that. We weren't able to see the cards properly. Okay. So, let's have a look at what's going on around your mental and emotional. You've got the Three of Swords. Third party situations or heartbreak, disappointment. Around that, what's the mental and emotional? Well, I think that, and I was seeing in the, I was just looking at the bottom cards just to have a look at the general energy, and I just got the thing that you guys, it was a blessing in disguise, something happening for some of you, okay? So, mentally and emotionally, you're the Six of Wands, you're feeling confident, you're feeling happy, uh, you're feeling good about yourself. So, the situation is about a hard, you know, a difficult situation, but mentally and emotionally, I feel that you're overcoming this with the Six of Wands, and what's the reason for that? Well, I feel that, you know, the Three of Pentacles is all about failed partnerships. And also, uh, when you get the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not really concentrating or focusing on something here. It's, uh, this is a failure card in the reverse. It represents a lack of recognition. So some of you guys, I get the sense that you're feeling a, a sense of relief here with this uh, Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a situation around that mentally and emotionally. You're really feeling that you're overcoming this mentally and emotionally here because of Three of Pentacles in, in the reverse. I feel maybe this is how you felt, that you didn't really put too much into the into, into the individual or into the situation with that Three of Pentacles reversed. Around the present situation, the Four of Pentacles is the situation. Sometimes this is where you're holding on to a situation or sometimes this is where you're putting your defences up. But around that Four of Pentacles in the present situation, four of cups in the reverse so i feel that you have um this is often the lost opportunity card in the reverse or i think that you've given up on something entirely okay so i think the situation is you guys are putting up your defenses and around that situation being about putting up your defenses i feel that you've given up on a situation with the four of cups in the reverse you're definitely no longer contemplating 
it and you're not invested in it and what's the reason for that because of the hanged man I think that you've surrendered and you've given up on something here the hanged man also means to surrender and let something go I definitely feel here that you guys are letting something go here in November 2017 around your hopes and desires well the situation is about being bound and being I often see the eight of swords as being the card about mental torture so some of you guys it might be the situation did involve some form of mental torture uh eight of swords is where your hands are also tied the eight of swords for me in the reverse and upright means that you see something clearly but the difference is with it in the upright you don't really know what to do about the situation in the reverse this eight of swords means that you're coming out and you're releasing a situation so i feel around the hopes and desires the situation is about being bound and around that what are the hopes well to be free you've got the full energy to release yourself from this energy here and what's the reason for that because of the three of cups you guys will be looking at other friendships other potential people perhaps with this three of cups energy in your expectations you've got the page of cups where the situation is about new love and it's about investigating new territories for love uh, it's about going out there it's about having a vision off new love and having the idealism that comes with the page of cups the hope the um fantasy of new romance so this is all about new romance and around that what are you expecting around new romance well the seven of wands definitely to let it in you're letting down seven of wands shows somebody who's saying keep the fuck out okay so you're putting your defenses up but you're definitely saying to yourself you know what around my expectations the situation is going to be all about new love and around that, what I'm expecting is, oh, well, I'm going to let down my guard. I'm going to let down my barriers and I'm going to let new love in. And what's the reason for that? Because of the high priestess in the reverse. I feel that, and it's really funny that when you get the high priestess in the reverse, because in the upright, it represents secrets, hidden knowledge. But I feel that, and usually this is about intuition, but I really feel that you're opening up to something here. I think that your, your, your intuition is actually opening up a little bit more with this high priestess in the reverse you've got in the hidden facts is what's coming in is the seven of cups that can be confusion or it can be about choices around that what you can't see coming in well there's a queen of cups energy showing up here if this situation is around confusion then be sure that you will clear the way around that what you can't see coming in is going to be clarity and foresight with that queen of cups intuition card again with the queen of cups and what's the reason for that because of the page of swords so the page of swords sees when speaks about when you're seeing the truth when you're speaking the truth when you can start initiating on that truth or acting on those new ideas that you've got so it's a good thing here if this is you guys and you can't see it right now the situation is about confusion but this queen of cups has great foresight especially in terms of what she internalizes so she goes through a period of uh gestation where she's actually sort of looking at situations doing a lot of emotional introspection and she tends to come to some form of resolution especially on the emotional plane and i feel that this is because of the page of swords new insight new development of ideas for some of you guys if that's not the case then the situation is about choices and around those choices it could be a new person queen of cups showing up here somebody who's gentle kind sweet might be a fellow water sign it could just be somebody with a really gentle um and persuasive not gentle and persuasive but gentle and sweet man Anna. and the reason for her showing up for this him or her showing up is because of the page of swords you might be doing some communication with this person you might have spilled your, your your guts out to this individual might have communicated honestly about whatever this situation is might be a situation in terms of a friend turns out to be love that type of thing the immediate future shows the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is all about being single independent and loving it and around that what you'd experience coming in is new love with this ace of cups so the nine of pentacles interesting because you're experiencing around that independence the ability for new love with the ace of cups and what's the reason for the ace of cups because you've got the ten of pentacles here might be somebody that you're meeting and work for some of you guys ten of pentacles is often a work card meeting somebody within the workplace i think it will be somebody that you're developing something with with these cards here and the overall outcome for you is the empress though in the reverse the empress in the reverse represents a relationship that's ill-fitting okay it doesn't have the potential to blossom and grow also the empress in the reverse is about not being giving and loving and um not wanting to nurture something being the situation and what's the overall outcome around that empress in the reverse the moon so there are still hidden aspects going on here or there might be some anxiety going on here with the moon card let's have a look at what the reason is for the moon card 
because of the Knight of Wands, okay? I think some of you guys, you really just want to go out and play the field on this energy showing here because you've got the Knight of Wands showing here, okay? It's either that the situation is not wanting to grow this relationship with this Empress energy in the reverse, because around that, the overall outcome is the moon. Some of you guys might have some very deep concerns. What are those deep concerns? Maybe your deep concern is that this person's a player with the Knight of Wands or possibly just wants a one-night stand. For some of you guys, and it's funny because she doesn't show up as being the type of person that wants a one-night stand, for example. Maybe this is something that will come in afterwards then, potentially. Because really we want to go from here to here, but this is the hidden aspects of what could be coming in. Okay. If this could be coming in, the more most likelihood of what's coming in, this could be coming in here because it's in your hidden factors. So the immediate future really is about being single. And around being single, you guys are going to be entering a new period of love, excitement and happiness with that Ace of Cups. As you start to make other connections, I feel, with this Ten of Pentacles energy, possibly people that you already know, possibly people in the workplace, that type of thing. I'm seeing you making new love connections with somebody or uh, other individuals here. Uh, but the overall outcome shows that the, you know, the field is not ripe, being the situation. Things are not ready to start sprouting with this Empress in the reverse. And around that situation, we've got, it's about concerns that you've got, the moon energy. Okay, moon is about secrets or hidden concerns or deep concerns that an individual might have. And it might be that you feel that you know somebody's just a player with this knight of wands they're not serious enough for you okay uh, this is a good reading i mean you're definitely taking something back into your own hands some form of control back i feel that you're getting over heartbreak here cancerians in this reading let's go through the reading again uh you know the bottom cards were very interesting okay because i feel that you're you, you know you're definitely overcoming a time of loss all right um But I think that it's almost like you're happy to play the field because of that loss, in a way, showing up. Let's get the reading again. Right now, I feel that the situation around the mental and emotional is all about heartbreak, three of swords, in which mentally and emotionally, you're coping very well and you're overcoming that because you're the six of wands mentally and emotionally. You're getting over it. And that's because of the three of pentacles reverse. I don't think that you really truly invested in this situation anyway with that three of pentacles in the reverse or it was a bad partnership or it's something that just couldn't you know, it couldn't grow. It couldn't really bring rewards with that Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Around the present situation for you guys, Cancerians, I'm seeing the situation being about that you're putting your your guard up with the Four of Pentacles. It's all about yourself with that Four of Pentacles. And around that being the situation, you guys are giving up on a situation here with this Four of Cups reverse. And that's because of the hanged man. I feel that there's a certain amount of acceptance in this situation with that hanged man showing that you've surrendered to it. You've let it go. Around the uh, hopes, well, the situation is about being bound. But your hope is to be free from all of this mental torture that perhaps you had in this situation. Because of the Three of Cups could be because it was a third party situation but also because you're looking to make new friends and new connections with that three of cups energy there's still plenty more fish in the sea around your expectations while the situation is about renew love and you're expecting well you'll let down your garden let that in and why is that because of the high priestess in the reverse high priestess in the reverse is a difficult card but i feel that this is more saying that you're more open to these energies because in the upright this in love this can often be a, about a woman or a man who's on their own but in the reverse and she they, they tend to wait as well with high priestess in the upright but i see here that you're not waiting anymore and you're more open to the energies of meeting new people for some of you guys cancerians i feel that in your hidden factors what this is showing is two things the one thing we can say with the Seven of Cups could be that the situation will be about confusion. But around that confusion, what you can't see coming in will be absolute clarity with this Queen of Cups. And why is that? Because you're starting to develop some new ideas and how you're going to act on those new things with the Page of Swords. Could also be that the situation is about having a choice, Seven of Cups, or many choices that you need to make here with the Seven of Cups. Around that, what you can't see coming in is a Queen of Cups. Could be a friend could be somebody who you have a really good connection with possibly this person showing up because they're able to show you the way give you the truth 
be completely honest with you. So it might be just be a good friend showing up here for some of you Cancerians. The immediate future shows the Nine of Pentacles being the situation. This is about being independent and loving it. And around that independence, what you can't see coming in is new love, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is new love, new relationships, new friendships. Because the Ace of Cups isn't just about new love, it's also about new friendships. And what's the reason for that? Because of the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, some of you guys, it will be that you're around being independent. The situation coming in will be about love. And why is that love occurring? It might be around family matters or family members with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you're single and independent and around that situation of being single, you might be experiencing new relationships with that Ace of Cups. Could be because of workplace matters, people that you meet in the workplace or maybe you meet online or in social uh, situations with that Ten of Pentacles. The overall outcome shows, well, I think the situation is that these, whatever it is that you meet or whoever it is that you meet Cancerians, it won't be the right time with this Empress in the reverse. This situation is not ripe for the picking with her showing in the reverse because around that, the situ overall outcome is that there is still some deep concerns and it might be for some of you guys that the person that you meet or the people you meet are simply fly-by-nights. They're not really the type of people that you would be looking to commit to overall. Or it could simply just be that why this is occurring is because you have some deep concerns around that Empress in the reverse. That you maybe you still want to go on the search for new love. You still want to go out there and search for something else. You still haven't found the person that makes you feel great about yourself. Or makes you feel that you could 100% commit. Brilliant reading. Let's get your advice reading. Universe Spirit, what's the advice that you have for Cancerians on this reading? What's the advice that you have for Cancerians in love for November 2017? Show me. It's telling you to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I mean, I think what it's saying is, is that if you are, um, you know, it says... This card as well says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So keep an open mind and make the effort. So I would say here really that if you're a little bit too strict or you're a little bit too choosy, it might be worth just giving somebody a chance here because you never know. There might be some beautiful surprises that come in. But I think if you're really, really choosy or really picky over a certain person or certain type of individual that you want to come into your life, Cancerians, it might be saying, well, keep an open mind because, you, you know, it might be that there is a gem you know, there is a gem that you might be, there might be a diamond in the rough out there. And I, I'm looking at the Seven of Cups and it reminds me of a diamond in the rough. This person spends so much time trying to choose because they're almost a perfectionist. And sometimes nothing is ever good enough for us when we have, a, you know, we're so set on having a certain type. But it might be that you meet someone, but because of one reason or another, you say, now, I think I'll discard that because I'm looking for the absolute perfection. And it might be saying, Cancer, well, I'll let your guard down a little bit, you know, have a bit of fun. You know, it might be that somebody you meet, they might so tick some of the boxes so-called, but you never know, you might be giving up somebody quite special. So keep an open mind because you never know. True love can show up in all different types of places. That is your reading, Cancerians, I would like to say. Thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I'll speak to you guys on your generals. Take care.